Honestly, you can do anything that you want. Like, don't go into it thinking it's a bad job market. Don't go into it thinking you don't have enough experience. You can start your own business today. Like, you can literally, like, really start to carve what it is that you want and use this university as a tool to do that. Because there's, there's, so there's so many There's so many resources here. There's it's nuts. so much there's every single person in front of you is a resource every single person you meet there's so many clubs you can get involved in counselors different departments classes you could take like computers music everything is a resource you're paying for this a lot don't like don't feel like you have to follow their rules and I don't want to encourage you to like I don't want that to I don't want you to be like hey he said don't follow the rules but like make it yours like make this experience yours and squeeze every last little drop out of it I know I didn't I didn't do that at all and this is my time to be honest but I almost flunked a couple times actually there was one instance where I was um, there was one instance where I had to call my my uh, my counselor in tears because I would failed when she said if you fail you're gonna be kicked out and um, that was my last that was my last chance but that was me for a lot of years and that's because I wasn't doing one I didn't know what I wanted and two I wasn't doing anything that I was interested in I was doing economics but I had no passion for economics but at the same time all of my sociology classes I'd get A's in and I'd do extra work and I'd be reading on it and TA time and everything so whatever you like do that like please don't deny yourself your passion and like what you really want to do because it's like when you do it now like think about this like you think about the people who are really successful within their careers like maybe think of motivational speakers but I'm just listing random names think of like a Tony Robbins think of someone who like um, created their own museum or think of someone who like does just really cool innovative projects or series all the people you look up to and you're probably thinking I can't do that. It takes too many years. They have something that I don't. But think about it. If you started today with how young you are, let's say you're, I don't know, 23. If you did it from today until the time that you're 30, I guarantee you, you'll be as successful as that person, if not more so, if you really commit yourself to it. Time is on your side. And that is, that is the most valuable resource that you can have. So literally, the more of what you do that you like, the better your life will become like literally things will start to come to you and you'll start to see opportunities and projects will come up and, and you'll just peep more people will be brought into your life that do what you love so that's the most important thing you can do do what you love all the time and start now like don't people please don't think you have to do this because someone else even, I don't want to encourage you to not listen to your parents at all but at the end of the day it's your life and if you if something if you're studying something that makes you miserable or if you're jumping into a career that makes you miserable rethink it like really really take some time to rethink it and not in terms of like oh job security because job security really isn't there that much either mm -hmm. you know I mean it's it's not it's not the it's not the 1960s or 1970s where a college degree actually was valuable everyone is getting a degree now so not to say that it's worthless you still need a degree but it's you're just competing against more people and so it's more important now than ever to really go after what it is that you want because you're creating your own niche, you're creating your own you. There are already too many people not being themselves. So it, that's why it's extra important for you to be yourself. And with that being said, we're at UC Irvine and that was my little spiel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. First of all, I want to shout out Free Spirit Kitty for filming me and for interviewing me. Super appreciated. You are awesome college was a pretty tough period in my life I was away from home was learning how to date learning how to express myself majority of my life I've just bottled up my emotions and my anger and my frustration and my loneliness and it just comes out in really really ugly ways I was struggling a lot academically I developed a gambling addiction and I just had a lot of ways of keeping myself from big questions like who am I what I want to do in my life what am I passionate about and that's why I'm actually so passionate about working with college students because I really wish I could have given myself guidance when I was 18 through 22 so my mission right now is to provide an open space for people to be open honest and vulnerable I've seen just creating a space 
for people to express themselves fully and honestly is transformational in of itself. Contact me at speakreal at gmail.com. I would love to set up a workshop, do some public speaking, and engage with your students. <laughs> I don't know what that stare i don't know what this stare was i had i was like pablo say something and then i'm like no just keep on staring so that's what this stare is about we're having a really intimate moment right now but yeah <laughs> contact me love to work with you and thank you